welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Givenchy Liquid Lipstick. So if you want to see my thoughts and feelings about this lipstick here, as far as like the application, the design, and all of that good stuff, please be sure to stay tuned. And then if you're not already subscribed, obviously subscribe to my channel and keep watching. So this is what the packaging looks like for the Givenchy Liquid Lip and it's just their traditional like genuine leather black packaging with the silver down the middle with the name and then it is literally identical to the lipstick that they carry. This is just their regular bullet lipstick and this is the liquid lipstick here. The only difference is, is that this one is just going to be taller and this one's going to be a little bit thicker. Um, as you can see this one's kind of skinny and this one's kind of fat. And then before I go ahead and try this on, I just want to give you guys a little bit of information about it. So I just have some info pulled up on my phone. And this does retail for $37 and it's currently available at Sephora.com. And I have it in the shade 412, which is described as a magnetic burgundy. But from looking at it, it doesn't look very burgundy to me. So we'll see when we try it on. It's also described as a long-wearing, soft, velvet matte liquid lipstick encased in a twist-up applicator with a convenient foam tip for precise application. So, we're going to open it up. You literally just pull the top off. And I guess this right here will be like the foam of the lipstick. And this is what it looks like. Just like that. So to apply, it says you twist it up, so let's twist it up and see how this goes. Okay, so I twisted it and some like kind of popped out. So this is what it looks like with some products right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. So this is with the uh, first little blob, I guess, of color. So I'm just going to twist up some more just so I can get a little bit uh, more color going. So this is what the lipstick looks like after I've applied it and it looks super cute I think. Um, it says it's supposed to be like a matte velvety texture. I would say it does feel velvety on the lips but I don't know about the whole matte thing because it is still has a little bit of shine to it. Um, I let it dry down for at least a couple minutes to see if it did dry down and I'm going to touch my lips and as you guys can see there is some transferring so this I would say is more just like a liquid lipstick not necessarily like a matte liquid lipstick so to speak um, it feels really nice doesn't feel drying on the lips and that's probably why because it doesn't dry down all the way matte it literally dried down I think like the slightest amount and then this is what the applicator looks like after I've used it so as you can kind of see it is no longer um, white anymore. The tip is no longer white. So you can see that the product really kind of got on there. So as far as the applicator itself, I was not a fan. I think it's a cute concept in theory, but I feel like I had a really hard time trying to get like a crisp line or a like edge, I guess, around my lips, which is why I kind of like liquid lipsticks that like, have the doe foot applicator because it just makes it a little bit easier to apply so yeah I'll, overall I think the color is really pretty but for me personally I just like something a little bit more matte and something that I know is it gonna transfer because like this mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. like I like it just it's either matte or like super glossy like those are like my only two looks no really in between and this is an in-between for me so while I do like it and I think that the color is really good, 
it's not for me just because I like more of a like a matte look but if you're looking for something that's kind of like a liquefied lipstick that's long lasting and is that is comfortable and creamy and not matte then this might be for you thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did of course please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and thank you guys once again so much for watching